to now adjourn. And I call the Honourable Member for Barton. Uh, thank you, Mr <laughs> Deputy Speaker. Tonight, Acting Deputy Speaker, uh, Deputy Speaker, I wish to speak about a visit I made to a school in, the, in my electorate, Sydney Technical High. It's a boys' school. On Friday, the 12th of February, I was honoured to have been invited to attend the annual presentation day for Sydney Technical High School in Hurstville. Fortunately, New South Wales Health eased restrictions permitted uh, the annual presentation to proceed, but in accordance with current COVID-19 restrictions, no parents could attend the presentation, and nor was there any usual celebratory refreshments that usually followed the event. Stephen So, uh, the principal uh, outstanding man, rose to the challenge of the COVID-19 restrictions and arranged for the proud parents to join in the annual presentation live online and also provided a complimentary CD um, of it for, for, for the student's family in the graduation bag. The school ought to be congratulated for ensuring that families did not miss out on these key milestones. The Sydney Technical High School is one of the few public schools with a Hall of Fame celebrating ex-students so that current students can realise the diversity of talent of those who have gone before them. The idea was from the past Deputy Principal, Sam Dandos. He named the Hall of Fame recipients for this year. As you walk along the corridor, you read the stories you will notice inventors, surgeons, medical specialists, musicians, artists, dancers, architects, academic administrators, economists, businessmen, educators, media broadcasters, sports people, military, navy and air force commanders. All leaders in their field, gentlemen who have made a difference and many have been awarded the Order of Australia. These men in the Hall of Fame at Sydney Technical High had vision, drive and passion. Like the vast majority of uh, Sydney Technical High students there today, they were quiet achievers, not seeking glory or fame, fanfare or recognition. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the student award recipients for the year 2020. A special mention to Dan Dan Daniel Nemani, the school captain, and Ambrose Constantinus, the school vice captain, both whom did an outstanding job being the master of ceremonies of the presentation day program. I'd also like to recognise the multicultural school band conducted by Shane Gamage and the talented Wesley Yu, alumni for 2020, who gave a beautiful piano performance on the, uh, of a Chopin piece. I had the pleasure of awarding the Barton Award for High Achievers for the year 12-2020 to Sean Thatch. The highlight was presenting the award to the School Ducks of the Year, the year 2020 Sega Pathina. I felt so proud to be there. and I'd like to read into Hansard the other people that were made duck, that uh, achieved the Ducks Award. There was Gassim Adra from Year 9. There was uh, uh, Dean Tripathi from Year 10. There was Kwong Hugh Nguyen from Year 11. And as I said, Sega Pathania from Year 12. I'd also like to uh, thank the fact that the school took the time to do an acknowledgement of country. And I thought this was very, uh, very good given the very important po points that, um, uh, that have been made around that. And of course, um, uh, the school captain um, did the acknowledgement of country. And I think the vice, no, the vice captain, Ambrose Constantinus, did the uh, acknowledgement of country. I really am very proud to be the member for Barton, and I am very proud of the uh, excellence shown at Sydney Technical Boys High School. It is an outstanding school, and I'm very glad that they are able to go ahead and have their presentation despite the COVID restrictions. <laughs>